Hey there everybody, welcome back to Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. This is Spiraling Helix, last time we made our way through the snowy mountain where we have just returned from. And this time we will be making our way over here, don't worry. Hey guys, by my calculations, it's going to take 72 power cells to fuel the heat shield against the lava on the way to Gaul and Maya Citadel. Like I was trying to say, we have more than enough power cells ready to head into the lava tube. The camera here is very awkward, but that's okay. Anyway, I'm going to make my way over to the spider caves, where Samo says there are going to be spiders. And more importantly, some weird lurker activity, or whatever else they said. Then we might check out the cave over behind that giant exploding mini volcano thing. But first of all... We are going to make our way across the door. Um, it's okay. I can walk on the tracks. Barely, but I can. And I don't recommend you do it because it's pretty easy to fall into the lava and die. But it's possible. Like, especially where it's just a few planks like this. But, thankfully, at the ends where we do get on and off, the planks are a lot closer, so it makes it easy for jumping. I missed. Anyway, we're not quite in the spider caves yet, but I would like to draw your attention before moving on to that box right there. You're going to learn to hate that box. And I have... It's the worst power cell in the game, guys. Let's just leave it at that, okay? Now, without further, further ado... Welcome to the spider caves, which seems to have a lot more millipede things than spiders. And uppercut. Uppercut! There we go. Now the spiders actually take two hits based on distance. The reason why I sound so uncertain is because you can kind of cut their legs off, but it won't kill them. And no, you don't. No, you don't. No. Okay. Spiders. They're bad, guys. Don't mess with them. Anyway, I want to head up here. You can bounce on these weird spider web things. Although some of them down there, as you could see, don't actually have it. So don't just assume there's one everywhere you go. Anyway, these middle... Ooh, what's this? Yellow eco vent. This is going to be perfect. For taking out the darn millipede spider things, let's call them crazy mutated spiders, because reasons? Anyway, they take two hits, although you can say they take three if they're not already moving around the giant tree trunks. And, oh, come on, come on down. And I'm just gonna speed this up, because man, there's a lot of them. When you do kill them though, they will tend to drop a couple of precursor orbs around them. So, yeah, kill them. It's very good. It's not just for a power cell, guys. Anyway, see you once I've killed all that I can kill. Okay, that should be all the one- wait. Maybe there's, there's one right next to me. And like a fool, I didn't see it. There we go. Very easy to get that one. And you might have noticed up here, this giant glowing purple crystal. This is actually a dark eco crystal. We want to blow them all up. And be well away from them when they do blow up. Now, we can't quite hit the other spider millipede things. Mutated spider things. From here, and give me... Oh, usually they drop two orbs. Oh, I wanted a second orb! Anyway, though... Usually... Um... Yeah, you can't hit all the weird mutated spider thing... Millipedes. Let's face it, they're millipedes. From the one yellow eco vent. Unless you do really precise shots. I don't recommend doing really precise shots, but hey, you can do them if you want to. But, now I don't think I can get all of them from here either, but I can get a few more. Okay, 
Just the two there. But before I go onwards, I want to take this yellow eco and fall to my demise. No, that's why did you bring me back to the start? Oh, well, well, I guess I'll get these orbs from all the spider millipede mutated things that I have defeated. And you know what? Seeing as going right didn't work out so well for us. Let's go left this time. Into the middle area first, just to... That's... a gap. I couldn't see the gap until it was too late. <sighs> anyway, this time, I'm not gonna fall. I'm so glad you grabbed onto that, Jack. I began to think you wouldn't. Anyway, going left up the middle. And on the thing, please. Thank you. And I need to get on this platform. And that's not quite where I want to go. Oh no, hey, we're back at this yellow eco vent. And you're in a... That orb is in a really awkward spot. Anyway... No, I ne I'm getting the orb now. I'm getting the orb now. Why? Why? Okay, that orb is going down later. That's, you know what, I'm going to let that spider live. I want to go up this way this time. Because, yeah, this first area is pretty... Done. Huge. Okay, I'm just going to say it now. I was going to save it for another room, but I'm saying it right now. The spider cave. Oh my goodness, they're so much harder than everything else we've come across. Except maybe the ice physics in the snowy mountains. Everything else has been pretty okay. And if there's been any failures, that's because I suck at this game. And I'm not good, but oh well. Anyway, let's quickly take care of you. And I think there's one more of them. Because, you know, Power Cell didn't... Spawn. There you are. There we go, Power Cell just spawns out of the tree that the last one, what am I doing, wasn't in. Sweet, give me those orbs. And more over there. And that's a bit high to jump. Here we go. And wait, maybe I did want that. Eco. I don't need to aim through my goggles to hit the scout fly, Daxter. Anyway, I do want to go across a lot of these platforms. As dangerous and scary as it might seem, because... If I go on a few certain platforms... Up here, I think it is? Wait, let me actually look. Um, ah, there you are. If I get on that platform going up and down there, and wait a bit to get on it, you've seen it. There is indeed a power cell hiding up here. A little bit sneaky if it wasn't for, you know, the 50 platforms in the air. But that's okay with me. 80 power cells, only 20? Yeah, the, exactly. What I said there, that was English, right? Anyway, about 20 power cells left in the game, I think. Maybe it's 21, I don't know. I can't remember if there's 100 or 101. It was worth it, I got the power or precursor orb. <laughs> every episode, every episode, I have to say power orb, it's a thing now. Yeah, that's actually probably my least favorite thing. I don't want to go down that cave yet because there was a cave by that yellow eco vent I was trying to get into, but you know, I died. So let's get into it this time. Okay, now I do believe you want to take some yellow eco with you into this cave. So let's do that and not jump into the dark abyss of the dark eco 
Because over here, there are some crates to break open. Some strong crates, and you know what, we need to hit this too, so let's just do that with the yellow eco. Now, you can punch it. I thought I was... I was that close to a checkpoint. Really, game? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna get it, guys. Don't worry. And double jump. There we go. Now, you can't just punch or spin those dark eco crystals. Actually, I think you can just touch them. As you'll see right here. Because down here, there is one hiding underneath the water. Run away! That crystal's gonna blow! And, yes, just like that, it has been taken care of. Although I don't think Samos or any of us really should be worried about the dark eco crystals when there's giant pools of dark eco around the place. Anyway, welcome to the dark cave. Or the dark part of the spider caves. If you touch or hit these glowing green crystals, they w will actually become glowing green crystals from this dull looking thing. Before I hit this one though, there's a bit of purple underwater here. You can guess what that means. Um, I said you can guess what that means? There we go. I guess you have to hit them a little bit from the side then. Okay, let's continue making our way up here. Now, you can get through here without the lights active, although when it gets to these moving platforms, it's a little bit harder, I will admit. Oh my goodness. I am so scared right now. And as you can see, they did a very good job at, like, just... I didn't think there was a gap there. Hence the, you know, dark lighting. Anyway, let's continue making our way up here. Thankfully, they do tend to last a while. I think I just poorly timed me hitting this one. You can hit them again to re-do that. No, I'm not missing you again this time. Okay. Oh, it wasn't even a gap. I just went a bit to the left. I didn't think it, the crate would be on. Oh my goodness. Please don't do that. Thankfully, when the lights do go out... Ooh, ooh, this place actually looks pretty cool. If you look around it. I don't... Okay, let's do it. Dark percent run. We're going in. No crystals, let's go! Okay. Still alive. No, I'm not. Although, wait a minute. Isn't there usually a spider here? Wait, isn't there usually- Oh no, the spider's up here? What? What happened to the spider? If you die, the enemies respawn. What? Um. Okay? That makes me very confused, but I'll take it. No spiders. I'm fine with that. Anyway, I'm just gonna make my way through here relatively quickly so I don't die. And pay attention this time. I was just saying, the cave actually looks quite pretty, especially if you look around. But, you know, you don't really want to be doing that half the time. Look before you leap, Jack, please. I thought you could just run across them. I didn't think you actually had to jump off them. Yay. I'm good at games. Okay. I made progress. Oh. My. Goodness. That wasn't meant to be so hard. I wasn't worried about falling in that bit. Thankfully some sections will always stay a bit lit up. So you can at least see... What? What? Oh yeah, that was... 
such a good run through the caves. Is there anything up there? No. Oh, power cell. I've never felt so relieved to get a power cell. Okay, let's get it. Okay, I almost missed that one. Now, I believe there's actually a way, if you're a speedrunner, to just, you know, skip that whole section. Although I could be thinking of Bandlo Kazooie. I'm not sure. They're both good games, guys. Although I don't actually own Bandlo Kazooie, so I won't be playing that for the foreseeable future. I might get it soon. But hey, we're not playing Bandlo Kazooie right now. We're playing Jack and Daxter. I'm dead. I was so close, why did I... Uh, oh well, that's... Actually, I kind of wish I respawned at the beginning of this room. Oh well, going to the trees. I know the trees are safe. These trees that are almost, you know, well, gonna fall over, but... Okay, I just had to shut up and be quiet for a moment there, because my goodness, I just couldn't survive. Anyway, you might be asking why I'm going back up here. I'm going back up here because I would like to take a bit of yellow eco with me. Down here. Did I miss something down here? What's this? What's this? Oh hey, scout fly. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a bit more yellow eco, guys. And that means I have to go all the way back up through this thing. Okay, yellow eco refilled. Let's go! Oh, okay, I'm alive. I'm alive. That's a start. That I'm not used to being alive for this long, guys. I'm waiting for... I'm gonna die in this room. Anyway, there were two strong crates back there. That's all we needed yellow eco for. Again, we can destroy those dark eco crystals from a from a distance. Wait. Oh, hey! Daxter was right. I wasn't really listening because I could barely hear. But hey, that's the last dark. Eco crystal. Thank you, game. Man, Dark Eco. Why can't it just turn me into a creature like Daxa? Why does it have to kill me? Oh, that's such a shame. Although I guess it's just protagonist plot stuff. I guess. Anyway, we are actually starting to see some lurkers now. These guys are terrible lurkers because. He just gives up, or at least the drill stops working for some reason. But he sort of walks to me and goes, oh, I can't get over that gap. I give up. Anyway, this is what Samos was talking about. Ooh, big health unit. Not used to seeing them. This is a giant precursor robot that the lurkers are excavating. So what am I going to do? I am going to actually head up this way, because I don't think this leads round. And that's why you have to wait for them to malfunction. And yes, okay, so there is a ramp here. Good, because I don't want to keep going that way. I want to jump into the abyss, because there's actually a blue eco platform here. And the reason why I wanted that is so I could get all of these these goodies, including nothing, because I ran out of Blue Rico. There we go, because right up here we have a power cell. Yeah. Ooh. We did it. Okay, and this will take us back down, but why would I want to go down when I can literally skip half of this room? Anyway, the reason why I jumped here in particular though, this is actually a dead end with a scout fly. 
And so I actually want to jump down a little bit further than that. Not this far. You know what? I'm going to show you shortcut number two. It's not as big as that shortcut, but it's pretty darn helpful nonetheless. You can actually long jump over to this corner. And I don't think they expected you to be actually try this. But there is a lift here, which will take us up and down. You were meant to do a ground pound there, Jack. Anyway, and you know what? I'm going to jump across to here. Because why not? And hey, that's every scale fly. That's not usually the last one I get, but hey. Doing things out of order in this room this time. Anyway, of course there are some strong boxes, so let's grab this yellow eco and break these. Thank you very much. Also, yellow eco is great for dealing with these guys. Because, well, they can't stop the power! There we go. Easily dealt with. And got this weird bone-like structure. But let's ignore that, grab this, and break some boxes that don't even need me to grab this, clearly, because I'm good. The reason why I'm going around this way is because, well, I wanted the yellow eco to break these boxes up here. Orbs! 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 Galore! I fell. That's okay. Speedy boost. It's not a big speedy boost, but it's a speedy boost, okay. I'll take every bit I get. Wait, that's a lift here? Um, do you come down further? No, no you don't. Oh, I, I, I was wondering, like, what's a lift doing there? Like, I don't, I didn't remember taking a lift. And they, I thought the flames would go out in that amount of time. And I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. Give me a big health unit. Please. Oh, thank you. I totally didn't expect that to happen. Anyway, I don't actually want to go down. I want to go up, please. Up, please. And up we go. Ooh, nice big jump there to celebrate. I... Which, wait, which way do I go? Oh, okay. Guess I'm going this way. That's not fair. That's not fair. How could I deal with him? Now I have to wait. Okay, taking the nice lift going. You know what? You know what? <laughs> Thankfully, this room has shortcuts. If this room didn't have shortcuts, I would be very annoyed. Oh, shortcut number three, I guess. That's like four different shortcuts in this room alone. Anyway, I'm going to take this yellow eco and deal with you. Like so. Very easy. Probably not the intentional way, but oh my goodness, how else are you meant to do that? Oh, hey, more health. Just what I needed. That's a Mario thing, not a Jack Daxter thing. What am I going on about? Anyway, there's really no point to going over there, so don't. And they hate just give you so much health here. Like, if you wanted to know where the green units of health were, they were all here. All of the health units in the game. They were just in this one place. Anyway, okay, I want to go on this, but we're not going to stay on this. I've already grabbed the scout fly over there, thanks to that blue eco shortcut near that other power cell we got. So, I just needed to grab those orbs and be on our way. And these posts are quite annoying, as you could see. And, oh, hey, that's where I am. No, I'm not missing you. I'm not missing you. No! I missed you. I miss you. Come back to me. Oh, thank you. I'll never leave you again. Okay, okay. All right, I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Remember me! Anyway, these posts, we've seen them before, I feel like I've talked about them. Make sure you do a jump straight up on the 
posts that have orbs like that. Cause... Wait, you can jump over the fire? You can jump- Oh my goodness, more health units. I thought they were done. Oh, did you see that? I was meant to go up, but I didn't. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And power cell. Yes. Ooh. That almost came crashing down right at the end. And for getting that power cell, we have somehow stopped the lurkers doing the thing on the... Wait, those millipedes are lurkers? Okay. Explore the dark cave. Climb the giant robot. We're not stopping anything on it, we're just climbing it. Just one left and... Okay. Oh, for a moment, I thought I was missing just one orb. But that's fine. We want to jump down, preferably not into the mincemeat grinders. And there's just one little area to explore, which is right down here. Now this is the second of three yellow eco vents that activate thanks to the... Yellow eco switch in the snowy mountains. You want this one, guys. Trust me. And just like the blue weaker vents, they like don't activate all that much. And just run. They keep respawning. Do not stop. Get those orbs in that one chest and the other one right here. And run, 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 run. Okay. Wait. That's not good. Oh no. Oh no. I'm missing some orbs. Please be in the launch pad. Please be in the launch pad. They were in the launch pad, yes! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, game. Oh. Okay. Spider caves come, police! That is by far the hardest area of the game. Unless you think the final area is harder. But the final area is a bit more special. So, this is the final, or this is the hardest traditional area. You'll see why in, the, in one of the later episodes, but we're not done yet. Oh no. Remember that box I showed you at the beginning of the episode? Yes, we have to go get that thing now. That means grabbing this yellow eco, making our way over here as quickly as we can, up here, where this jump is stupidly unresponsive. I'm mashing the X button. It was not double jumping properly. I need an invisible wall. I need to go get more yellow eco. Because, my goodness, the time... Uh, bounce, please, Jack. The timer for the yellow weco running out is a little bit too short to make it there. Like, seriously? I don't know where the developers expected you to shoot the box from. But, oh my. This is ridiculous. Make sure you go into the yellow eco vent and then start doing your rolling jump. Through high jump. High jump's the way to go there. Okay. Don't mess up. Don't grab onto ledges. You only need single jumps. Except for this last one. And shoot! I thought that would spawn me in the dance spider games! Uh, I'll be right back.
Okay. Clearly the trick is to not use your goggles like Daxter recommended. Seriously, like... Yellow Eco is just better without goggles. You use it maybe for the gnawing lurkers or those millipede things. And that's pretty much it in the whole game. That's all you use it for. Oh my goodness, so we finally managed to get the... I'm alive. I'm alive. Well, seeing as it sent me all the way back here, I'm not quite... Uh, you, you know what, this episode's gone on for long enough, guys. Next time, we will be making our way through the lava tube. Now that we have more than enough power cells, as well as backtracking to the mountain pass, because, well, we're actually... Wait, I went way too far. We're actually missing a precursor cell there. Power cell. Oh my goodness, I can't say right at all. And we'll, of course, collect the rest of the power cells here. So with that, guys, this has been Spiraling Helix. I'm going to finish off this episode like I've been doing everything so far in this episode. See you guys next time, everybody. Bye-bye.